Are you all ready to process the first payroll for the new year, but you don't have the updated tax rates yet? Let us show you how to download the tax files and install the updates. When this lesson is over, you'll be able to tell which taxes are maintained by SAGE, recognize when the tax updates are available, download the tax files, and install the updates. Hi Gina, I'm getting ready to process payroll for the new year, but I need to update the tax tables to reflect the new rates and limits. Do I need to do this manually? Oh no! If you're on a service plan with SAGE, they'll provide you with almost all the new tax tables. Can you clarify which taxes they provide and which taxes we're responsible for upkeeping? Sure! To see which tax rate tables are provided, let's go to Setup, Taxes, then Tax Rates. At the federal level, all U.S. federal taxes are supplied and maintained by SAGE. How about state taxes? At the state level, only employee state withholding taxes are supplied and maintained by SAGE. A state unemployment insurance tax has been set up for each state, but you, the customer, are responsible for updating it with your company's experience rating and limits, and that's something you need to do for the state disability insurance tax as well. As for local taxes, only the New York City resident withholding, Yonkers resident, and non-resident withholding are provided and maintained by SAGE meaning that customers are responsible for setting up and maintaining any other local taxes. That's correct. If you ever forget which taxes are supplied and which ones aren't, look in Help, Help Topics. On the Index tab, use the keyword Taxes. Oh, I see. List of taxes. Right, and you can click for more details. Can we take a look at the state taxes? Of course. Let's check out Idaho. These are the taxes that are set up for this state. Why don't we take a look at the state unemployment insurance? In the comments area, it tells you to enter a percentage or formula to calculate the tax. Thanks, Gina. Now I know which U.S. tax rate tables are included and which ones I'll need to maintain myself. Gina, how do you know when new taxes are available? There are two steps to this process, both using tasks on the Tools menu in the Payroll application. First, you use the Download Tax command to get the most current tax files from the SAGE website, but this doesn't replace the existing tax rates in Payroll yet. This means that as soon as taxes are ready, I can download them, even if I'm not ready to use them yet. Right. When you're ready, use the Update Taxes command to replace the existing tax rates with the downloaded ones. This command automatically backs up your existing taxes, just in case you need to restore them. If I don't download the taxes until I'm ready to use them, can I download and update the taxes at the same time? You can. You can choose to update taxes with the Download Taxes command. But remember, once you update taxes, the changes are effective the very next time you process payroll, regardless of the effective date on the tax table or the date on the check. Okay, only update taxes when I'm ready to use them. Can we see how this works now? Of course! Before you download taxes, make sure you've logged on to the network and to SAGE with full administrative rights. Can I do this from my workstation or at the server? Either is fine, as long as you have an internet connection. How do I know where my payroll tax files are stored? Go to File, Company Settings, File Locations. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. CPR Tax. If the Company Folder column next to it is blank, it means that the taxes are stored in the data folder, but if there is a path, then they're stored elsewhere. Got it. Let's download some taxes. 
Go to Tools, Download Taxes. Again, make sure you're logged on to your network and to SAGE with full administrative rights. And I can download the taxes as soon as I receive the notice that the update is ready. Yes, you can download the new taxes at any time. Just don't select the checkbox Update Tax Files when download is complete until you're ready to process checks with the new tax rates. Your client ID number will automatically appear in this window, but you can change it if you have to. Click Start to begin the download. The Download Taxes report tells you the name of the zipped file that the tax files came in and where they were copied to. Two files, new.prx and frm.tax, were copied into the miscellaneous folder. That's right, but remember we haven't updated the taxes yet, so these files will stay in this folder until we use the Update Taxes command. Then the tax tables and the payroll formulas will all be updated. Okay. Can we take a look at how we update taxes now? Yes, but remember, do not update the taxes until you're ready to process checks for the new year. Right. And I should only process payroll for the new year when I'm completely done with the payroll for the past year, and after I've used the close year command to reset all the year-to-date totals. Exactly. Now, from Tools, go to Update Taxes. Then, click Start. Is there a journal that prints when it's done updating the taxes? Yes, there is. Why don't we take a look? The Update Taxes command automatically creates a backup of your existing tax files, just in case you need to restore them. Okay. This is done no matter if I update taxes on its own or with the Download Taxes command? That's correct. This journal also shows you how many taxes were updated. How do I make sure the tax got updated? Good question. Gina, we have a few different databases set up and we process payroll in each folder. How do I make sure the update taxes are installed for all the databases. If you specified a central location for the payroll tax files in file locations for each of your companies, then you only need to download and update taxes once from any data folder. The new taxes will be applied to all of your companies. But if no location is specified, then you will need to download and update taxes once for each company folder. I can't download the file once and update taxes in each folder? No, because the new.prx file is deleted once you update taxes, so that's why you'll need to download taxes for each company folder. Got it. If you have trouble using the download taxes command from your payroll application, you can go to the Sage Knowledge Base and download them from there. Great. Before you process checks for the new year, don't forget to update rates and limits for the U.S. state disability and state unemployment insurance taxes. Remember, SAGE doesn't maintain these for you. Right. And I should remember to update local taxes as well. I'd better put a note on my calendar so don't forget. Thanks, Gina. Glad to help you out, Brent. By now, you should be able to tell which taxes are maintained by SAGE and which ones you are responsible for. Remember, the software notice will tell you when the new tax rates are available. Use the Download Taxes and Update Taxes commands to get the latest tax rates so you can process payroll for the new year.